This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. It's strange, but we kind of like, hey, aloha, and how are you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. Welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. Um, please pull up a chair, grab yourself a libation, and join us for a uh, fun-filled 28 minutes. Um, this is going to be a real special show today, because uh, not because I don't have a co-host, it's because I have someone who trained me in this business who's going to be my, who's my guest. So Kayla Rosenfeld is my guest today, and she has a, a learned background in communications, but we're going to talk a little bit about that, but we're going to talk more about what you're working on um, with a bit. See, I almost said it. Habitat for Humanity. We're going to get all of this stuff straightened around for our views, viewers. Perfect. So let's start. I always like to get a little background. You've been on the show before, but that's being said. A um, little brief background on yourself and you know how you got to Hawaii and where you went to school, where you grew up. That okay. Kind of um, thank you very much for having me back. When you first had me, um, it was March of this year when I, first, when I started my current wow. uh, service at Habitat for Humanity. Um, I got to Habitat for Humanity through um, a basic job. They were looking for somebody to help them build capacity. Uh, they needed somebody to work in the ReStore to help develop volunteer programs and uh, do a little community outreach, marketing, policy and procedure, and recycling programs. So I, I have background in all of that, communication background. I applied for that position, and it turned out to be an AmeriCorps VISTA position. Okay, that's your background. Well, one of your backgrounds. Um, the AmeriCorps VISTA. Yeah. It's, it's like the domestic Peace Corps. Okay. And um, I served for one year in a, an underserved community in a capacity that the community needs me to serve. Okay. So I'm serving in the ReStore and essentially helping the ReStore get its name and word out into the public so that people know it's a great place to shop and that when they shop there, they're contributing to a good cause. So um, ReStore, it, it was new or did it take over from someone else? Like, was there like uh, another mm. nonprofit entity that they absorbed? No, um, the ReStore has always been part of the Honolulu F Habitat for Humanity um, brand. Okay. And it is a separate uh, revenue and uh, revenue generating and public relations tool. Revenue generating in that people donate to the ReStore, mm -hmm. people buy from the ReStore, and all of the proceeds from the sale of ReStore items get uh, reinvested back into the mission of building homes, community, and hope for Habitat families. So that, and that's the key point. That was my next. So the ReStore's key mission is housing. The Habitat for Humanity key mission okay. is um, building homes, community, and hope. Second to that is putting people in decent and affordable housing. Okay. And and, and the ReStore is a tool to raise money to make that happen. So this is not goodwill. This oh, is not no. with closing, clothing coming in, and I'm just a, this is, a, this is a, a, a lobbing up this question because I know it's not a, a, a goodwill type yeah, yeah. enterprise. So it's it's related to creating a, a, a affordable, not necessarily purchase housing, but livable housing. Yes. And um, I, I have a restore up in Waimea where I live, and mm -hmm. I buy materials from them mm -hmm. for building my house. I also give them materials back to them you know, donate back to them sure. that I haven't used in my house rather than sorry, in, the, in right. the landfill. And that's how the system works. And that's how that, so that's the, that's the Habitat for Humanity Restore. So I want to make sure we clear, clarify a couple of things. Because I, I get this, oh, is that, isn't that Habilitat? Right, because the names are sil similar. Are, yeah. Again, Habilitat has a very worth, worthy organization, but they're not Habitat for Humanity Restore. Correct. Habilitat is drug rehabilitation, okay. and they sell Christmas trees during the holiday season. Right. Okay, right. that's Habilitat. I buy my Great, Christmas tree. worthy organization. Right. Habitat for Humanity is about building affordable homes okay. and building communities where those affordable homes can be built. Okay. okay. So Habitat, the Habitat organization has something called the Restore, which okay. is that tool that I described, the right. revenue generating and public relations. The Restore is often confused with another business in town called Reuse yes. Hawaii, okay? Yes. Um, we're different. Reuse Hawaii, also a very um, commendable organization. They demolish buildings, and then they sell the products of those buildings. That's how they earn their money, plus donations. Plus donations. We at Habitat for Humanity Restore are all about donations. So you're all about, you're all about donations of... Um, Gently used and new furniture, home accessories, uh, 
uh, plumbing, building materials, plumbing, uh, all that roofing stuff. Roofing materials. All I, of it. I can tell you, I have purchased new materials that Great have been donated. Stuff that comes in there. Donated by um, by uh, contractors. Yep. Um, and, and such to your organization. Yes. And I go in there, oh, I've been looking. So instead of me having to go or online and figure it all out, so I make a visit every every time I go by the ReStore, mm -hmm. you know, I check in to see what they might have. Right. So I actually have some stuff i got to drop off next time I'm up there. Um, but it's, it's, it's really, is a, it's, and like you said, it's quality stuff. It is quality. Um, it's gently used, but mm -hmm. it is quality to be functional beyond the time that it leaves the store. Right. Um, most things are tested before they go out. Um, but what I, what I want to also point out is that um, everything that's donated, whoever donates gets a tax write-off on that. And then um, everything also in the store itself is half the price of what you would find in a regular retail store. Oh, yeah, I, uh, if not. If it not, starts it, at half. Yeah, it, we even, cut it in not, half even, and then there. it goes down. Yeah. I know, because I've got light fixture canisters, brand new, never been used, that I was able to, to uh, purchase at, at for unbelievably great discounted prices. Right. Uh, so it's terrific. We have a, um, um, yeah. we have a sign, uh, like, uh, so that people just know the um, uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore logo. It'd be good to throw that slide up That'd if you can. That'd be great. Can. Thank you. That'd be a good idea. And then your address, um, are where you're located here in Honolulu. Correct. In Kalihi, 922 Austin Lane, and that's across from Tamashiro Market. There's the Queen Victoria Kaiulani Ka School right. across from Tamashiro Market. Right, right. We're next door to the school down a dead lane, dead end lane called down, Austin, dead, dead Lane. End, Austin lane. So you got to right know where you're going to it's find a, it's it, a I little, must admit. But, yeah. but the key is you're across from Thomas Shiro Market. That is the key. And that's the key, and everybody knows where Thomas Shiro exactly. Market is. So right. on your visit to Thomas Shiro Market, then you pull by and, and stop by. And right. not necessarily always purchase, but if you've got something, if you're a contractor, you know, plumber, electrician, whatever, and you've got some good um, materials that others can use, and you don't want to be dumping them in the landfill, Yes. Yeah. You Do you know there. the ReStore keeps 125 tons of material out of the landfill every year just by being a source of donations? 125 tons, tons. of material. It's 2,000 pounds in a ton. Just exactly. So you know, that's 250,000 pounds. Uh, just on the on the restore, the just Honolulu one, the Honolulu one, so just that storefront. Why may one? Just no, the Honolulu one. Just the one. Honolulu one. Whoa, whoa. So I, and I have another picture. So you, some of the some of the some of the um, um, products that you have, the rating nonprofit home improvement store. You've got n a nice furniture. You yeah, got. I have a picture of that. If you can put that up. Yeah, we're going to try and get Dre to throw that one up so we can get a chance to see. So there you go. That? Look at this stuff. Look at those chairs in the back. Those all they haven't ever been used. And you know what? Things change every hour. We have new merchandise on the showroom floor because people donate regularly yeah. every hour. So um, we've got people who come in every couple days, regular customers who come in every couple days to pick up their stuff uh, just to see what's there. Uh, we also have um, a donation pickup service that a person can apply for. And those donations wow. arrive on Mondays. So those who know about shopping at the ReStore know to come in Tuesday afternoon wow. when the new stuff has showed up. See, that's a lot. That's personalized. That's personalized shopping Yes, for, with a good cause behind it. Right. Again, every penny that um, is earned from sales at the ReStore go back into building homes for our partner families. Okay, so now I'm going to throw up another slide, which is a loaded question. So yeah. what are the kind of donations that you accept? What would be the, 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 the donations that... Okay, furniture, habitat. definitely furniture, furniture okay. building materials, uh, household appliances, household accessories, like um, you're changing out your dishes, for example. Right. Uh, great, there's the list. Uh, changing out your dishes and your other dishes are just fine. Maybe there's a crack, you know, a chip or something. That's okay. As long as it's not going to be a health hazard, we're right, okay with right. that. Um, so uh, building materials, hardware, electrical and lighting, we've got all kinds you know what? I have never seen in my entire life that quantity of light fixture covers. Oh. I had no <laughs> idea that there were that many fixture covers in this plant. It's, it's an, I know. I get, I, again, I walk in and I get ideas. I go, that's what I should do in the bathroom. That's how I'll solve yeah. that problem. Yeah. yeah. So it's, just everything and anything. If you're a do-it-yourself kind of person, this is the place to come. To me, it's more fun than Home Depot and more fun oh, than more fun, the Lowe's because um, you never know what you're going to find exactly. when you walk in the doors. Exactly. I mean, it's great. So, um, so windows, doors, I mean, there's just all kinds of... And uh, we've had uh, a recent couple donations of brand new windows, glass doors, screens. 
Wow. There's a beautiful pain in there right now, actually. Okay, so now that so I'm I'm trying to get uh, get all this wrapped around my and my little tiny brain is that so you've got all these donations coming in, you've got all these materials going out, but then and but the intent is to provide the housing piece. So how does that work? How does the, this all fit together? Okay, so as I say, the proceeds from sales at Restore okay. are reinvested back into the housing, okay, into the construction and uh, repair of housing because you know you may have a um, a family, a tr traditional family home that doesn't need to be razzed, but the lanai is falling off, or Auntie needs a ramp for her um, okay. wheelchair or okay. something. So we do those kinds of repairs as well. Oh, so you you have uh, contractors available to you? Well, actually, it's our staff, our very small construction staff, and the volunteers who participate in the the construction program. Okay, so I have you and I need to talk afterwards because I have an idea because I, one of the, one of the organizations I work with and they've been on the show is St. Francis Healthcare System. Yes, and they provide um, services to people that seniors that live at home, don't mm -hmm. want to go yep. anywhere else, but they need things like a ramp build, a lanai fixed, a leaky faucet, Correct. those kinds of things. So they're the kind of entity that you should be actually be, I should be put you together. Absolutely. That is my new assignment at the end of this very show. Nice. Do very nice, very nice. See, the reason I do this show for a reason, it's, it's kind of cool. I get yeah. kind of neat stuff. Yeah. Um, so, um, so you donate, shop. And volunteers. Okay, so tell me about volunteers. So the volunteers uh, really are what allows ha any habitat organization throughout the country. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we're in 70 countries around the world. We are international. But um, every state has a habitat, at least one. In okay. Hawaii, we have seven different affiliates. Are they all in every On each I island. island? Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, every island has one. Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Island has two, and Oahu has two. The others have one. Um, so... What was the question? Volunteers. Volunteers. volunteers yes. So volunteers um, are necessary to help us do what we want to do because we are a nonprofit organization. We want run on a really tight budget. It takes as many as 300 volunteers at least to complete a single home build. So that's the home build wow. aspect. Um, and that's in addition to the small construction staff that we have mm -hmm. and uh, any kind of uh, people like myself who are, are AmeriCorps VISTA or AmeriCorps who are federally loaned to the program. So, so the, the people that are doing the labor yes. are, are, are volunteering their time? Yes. The materials are being donated? Mostly. For mostly, you may have to purchase the families, some. The families do contribute $1,000 for materials. Okay, so the families contribute $1,000 for yeah. materials. And then, um, then this volunteer group helps to move this. Why are we not hearing more about this? I mean, this is, well, that's why we're doing this show right now. Yeah. We've got to get the word out. Because um, it's not a handout. I mean, it's, yeah, not, it's not an a, easy program. You have to apply. You have to demonstrate that you need this program. You have to demonstrate you need housing. For example, you're a family of 10 and you live in a one or two bedroom house. Right. With a half, one half bath or right. one bath. So yeah, right. in our minds, Habitat for Humanity, affordable, decent housing might be three bedrooms, maybe four, to accommodate the 10. Same gender kids would be in one bedroom, other gender and the other parents have their own. So it's decent and affordable, but not... Um, you know, run over owner by multiple, is, yeah, 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 owner. Okay. okay, so you have to demonstrate the need for housing, you have to demonstrate financial stability because you do have to come up with a thousand dollar for material, yeah. and you also will be paying a mortgage, a monthly mortgage, okay, that is configured to meet your, your financial capacity. This is cool stuff, this it is. is very cool stuff. Okay, so we're and gonna take one a, more thing. Okay. Third <laughs> thing is you got to be willing to do sweat equity hours, uh, okay. I and you know what, I love that. That's always been one of the things I've always said about the handout society that we have is that you really need to be. And well, not everybody's willing to do that, which is the challenge. Yeah, and that's the challenge. Well, then we have to educate them that they should. Yes. So we're going to do a short break. Yes, then we're sir. going to come back and we're going to talk about a couple of things you've got going on, events, fundraising, the, the 25th of November, some yes. cool things that are happening. Thank you. So Kayla Rosenfeld here, and I call you, you're, you're my marketing guru par excellence. That's the name I give to you. Um, I learned everything I know about doing this business from Kayla. Anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. We're going to talk about um, some upcoming, upcoming fun events. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. It sounds like scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. 
Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Greetings, it's me, Angus McTech, the longtime host and star of Hibachi Talk. Think Tech is important to our community because we bring all kinds of cool ideas and I bring gadgets to the, to the show. So you gotta watch it for sure. But for the first time, Think Tech Hawaii is participating in an online web-based fundraising campaign to raise $40,000. Give thanks to Think Tech. We'll run only during the month of November and you can help. Please donate what you can that Think Tech in Hawaii can continue to be public awareness and promote civic engagement through free programming like mine, and I'm in charge. I've already made my donation, and it's really hard to get discussed when they make a donation, but I already did. Please send in your tax-deductible contribution by going to this website, thanks for thinktech.cosbox.com. Say that three times fast. Closing, on behalf of the community enriched by Think Tech, Hawaii's 30 plus weekly shows, thank you and we're mahalo for watching Think Tech and your gen generosity. Let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha! Hey, aloha! Gordo the Techs are here. Welcome to Hibachi Talk. When Hibachi talks, the world listens. I have Kayla Rosenfeld here. We're talking about Habitat for Humanity and the Restore yes. and um, uh, creating housing and opportunities for people who are willing to be part of the restoration of their Correct. housing and, and, and whatever. Part of the so, community. Part of the community. So and I want to, we, we, when we left in the first half, we talked about some projects that you've done. And is it just 78 houses or something? We just finished house number 78 in Kaneohe. And the gentleman, he's a single gentleman. It is his first time he's ever owned a home, and he in his, he's in his late 70s. Whoa, I can deal with that. So, if you, uh, uh, Ray, if you've got a slide, i got a great slide up here. It says the end result. It shows this house. It shows some families that have, you know, been able to, uh, you know, get, 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 right. re not even restarted. I think they're started. They just needed the extra boost. Exactly. Some assistance. And this is uh, since 1988, we have built 78 homes here just um, on Oahu, and that's east of Kunia Road. So Leeward, there's a, there's a separate affiliate, affiliate. on the Leeward side of the islands. And they've got their own numbers. And they do their own they've numbers. They've done their own numbers as Correct. well. So, well, so Honolulu, this, 78. Yeah, so this is great. So now, now we talked earlier about the, you know, the, the, the donations and going in and purchasing mm -hmm. and the volunteers and so on, but what about corporations? How could corporations get involved in this? So corporations have a huge role to play. Um, you can contact, for example, our, a corporation can contact our volunteer coordinator, for example, and you can set up a volunteer day in the ReStore, okay. or you can set up a volunteer day on the construction site. So if you had a construction company and you wanted to do something, you could bring your crew together? You could, or a, construct a construction company can donate the materials needed for a home. Okay. But if you wanted to get out there and get your hands dirty, there are two ways to do that in the ReStore and on the construction site. Um, and we call them corporate sponsors, and there is a, a corporate fee that is paid to the Hawaii, uh, the Honolulu Habitat Organization, right. which covers all the expenses and helps us because we are a nonprofit. This is one of the ways that we earn our money, grants, sponsorships, donations. Okay. And I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm In fact, project. I, just, I have a slide that shows some of our corporate sponsors, if oh, you yeah, want to bring yeah, it up. Yeah, Ray, it might be near the, oh, I'm trying to think where it might be. I had uh, it somewhere. Where did I have that? Where did I have that? Uh, all the corporate sponsors. Right I, here. There it is. Okay. Number seven. It's number seven on the slide deck. Some and we're our, really proud of the corporate yeah, sponsors because, because, you know, they're taking a step outside the box. They yeah, really this is are. not your typical American Heart no. or all the you know all the big well recognized players exactly you know, that are out there in in the side because look at this you got Delta, the Delta Airlines that's their tech ops yep um, Central Pacific Bank I do my business banking there Hawaiian Airlines look at this. these are these are Veterans yeah. on, Ventures United Group seventy I've done work with them 
Wow, Home Street Bank, that's kind of cool. These are, these and then are, all of these people who volunteer go home and tell other people what they've done, and that's how we spread the word. That's why it's not just money, but it's conversation. It's conversation. You know? and, and, yeah. and, and Habitat Restore has not been around how no, like uh, The Restore is five years. Five We're years. We're celebrating five years on Saturday, in wow. fact. So, so, so uh, I love the way this stuff all transitions. You, you, you transitions well. You taught me well. So as we transition, so there's some cool stuff happening. On, what's ha so what's happening on Saturday? Okay, so Saturday, the Restore celebrates five years of service to the Honolulu community. Um, the Honolulu Habitat affiliate has been around since 1988. Okay. Habitat, uh, the restore started in 2012. So on Saturday, we're going to clear out our receiving bay, our donation receiving bay, okay. and we're going to set up information tables. And we have um, the city and county is going to be there talking about recycling. There's going to be a booth to um, make Christmas ornaments for Kapolehale made out of trash, upcycled trash. Right. Um, we're going to have a rain barrel workshop going on. So it's like taking um, soda syrup barrels, mm -hmm. you drill holes in them, one here, one here, and there's a spigot that you can put in, mm -hmm. and there's a hose, and the whole idea is that you just put this out in your yard, and it's a rain barrel, and you can use it like catchment water. For your irrigating your for yard. For irrigating your of, yard, and, doing and, your laundry, whatever. And as many of us know on Oahu, um, your sewer bill is tied to the water consumption you have. And if your sewer bill is high, name one that isn't, it's because you're consuming the water. So if you go to this catchment system, right. you could reduce your, your water bill tremendously. Yes. Tremendously. I mean, I have the, on the big island, I, you know, we, we have catchments and stuff like this, but I never, never thought about these barrels. I have to go look at the restore, see if we've got those yeah, barrels Yeah, check them out, check them out. So um, you can get a ticket to the, the barrel workshop. It's uh, Saturday from 11 to 12 at our location at 922 Austin Lane. Um, I have, uh, later on the show, there's a link to the uh, Eventbrite. Right, right. So you can get a ticket to go. It's a free event, but we just want to know how many people are coming. Right. So check that out. You can sign up for the Rain Barrel uh, Workshop there. That cost is $45. That's the only thing that will cost, cost anything. Well, uh, well, worth it. Again, if you see your, your water bill. And it's bill, fabulous. And we're doing the, um, yeah, uh, the pilot project is being launched in Kalihi, and that's why we're okay. one of the sites for it. Wow. Oh, I love this idea. I okay. love this. I hope so, we got barrels in the meantime. So, rainwater barrel workshop going on, um, information booths about recycling. Pono Home is going to be there to talk about um, greening your home, auditing your home so that you um, minimize the amount of electrical waste, that kind of thing. Right. Um, and we also have a live auction. Uh, actually, let me rephrase that an online auction. Right. So, that's the other part. So, Correct. so you got, on Saturday, you've got this event that's happening. And what, what's the time frame for that? What day? Uh, uh, Saturday will be from 10 to 2. From 10 to 2 on Saturday, Tomashiro Market, cross across the road, Market. down the, the lane. Right. Sounds like a song. And we'll have from, people there. Yeah, we'll have people there. Oh, yeah, and it. signs out on the street. Yeah. So, it's something to, to uh, seriously consider on, on Saturday. Hey, Christmas isn't that far away. Um, and then, but now you've got this auction that's happening, yes. which is kind of cool. It is. Because I was fantastic. on the site yesterday. Yeah. So tell, tell me about the, the auction. What's so this all the about? auction um, is through Bidding Owl. Um, it's the first time I've done an online auction. I've done, you know, real in person auctions. And it's, it's kind of cool. So yeah. um, everything that's in there has been donated to the restore. So we took the cream of the crop of everything that's been donated. There's some magnificent artwork in there. Yeah, from there is some artwork there that Steve Powers, uh, and he is an artist who will be there on Saturday to talk about his work. Uh, the Wyland uh, artist Wyland. There's an autograph Wyland there. Everything from Wyland is autographed, and everything from Steve Powers is autographed. It's all autographed. Right. So that's all. So yeah. those are the really high end stuff. And uh, yeah, high end stuff with starting bids at twenty five dollars, valued at close to five hundred dollars, with starting bids at twenty five. So I'm just telling you from a Christmas present perspective, you can go in and pick up something for your family that's pretty magnificent. It is. I mean, there's little things in there. There's um, uh, cultural artifacts. There's some um, Hawaiiana stuff. There's vintage luggage. There's this light fixture. Oh, yeah. I, I Aren't got, those beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, just yeah, some great nice. light fixture stuff. Yeah. And so on. So it, a great, great opportunity to get there. Now, um, w when does the auction end? The auction closes okay. at 1.30 Hawaii time on the 25th, Saturday, on Saturday. the 25th. So, and if I go to um, the restore, uh -huh. those material, those uh, auction items are there? They are there now. So Everything's they, there, and we ask that if you're going to bid on something and you win it, that you come get it. Yeah, that you come get it. That's, yeah. a, that's only fair. That's only fair. <laughs> 
or you can donate it to me. Or you can just donate me. it back <laughs> yes. to us. Yes. Or donate it back. There you go. That happens. Oh, well, I was, I'm bidding on something right now, so hopefully cool. I'll get it. Cool. I might have to come by on Saturday at 135 and just make sure I have Please it. Please do. <laughs> okay, so um, so what else is happening? So this is really cool. I mean, um, I want to talk a little bit. You know, you've got a couple of minutes left. And okay. so on. I want to just talk a little bit about you because this is a great program and so on. And you've, you've, you've just spent so much of your your life in this community doing community related things mm. from your days at Hawaii Public Radio um, you know, to, to all, you know, uh, Wild Rose Productions. Communications. Communications yeah. and what you do in this space. But you know, this, this, this particular uh, gig doesn't last forever. It does not. It comes to a close in, on March 7th, 2018. So on March 7, 2018, you, you, and you've always do these, you do these amazing things that don't pay a lot, that <sighs> contribute a lot to the community. Yeah. So, so, so as, of, as of the beginning of March, you're, you're back out looking for a new, a new project for I you am. to take forward. So I am. I wanna, I'm just going to promote you. Thank you. Promote you and say, you know, you know I, I've worked with Kayla for, for decades, and I'm, I'm going to be starting to see if I've got a couple of night ideas that we can talk about. But if you ever want, if anyone out there watching this wants to um, talk to Kayla, you can just go to the website. My contact information is contact, there. Wild Rose Communications. Communications. It's all there. And then, um, and I, again, I promise you, the background and depth is amazing on, on, on your, um, what you've done in this community. Thank what you've you. done in this community for many people in this community. Last message you want to get out regarding what's happening uh, with this event and such. To bring everything to a close yes. in terms of what I'm doing uh, now and what I've done to get me to this point, um, I just want to say I've had an opportunity to do some really exciting different things and this particular job at the Honolulu Habitat has been really enlightening. Yeah. I mean, I've covered Kalihi as a reporter and as a news director. But I'm in the community now, and I feel really grateful that I've had the opportunity to learn more about my community firsthand. Yeah. And you it know? is a cool community. It's a wonderful community. That yeah. is the working class community yeah. of, this con of this island. And a taste of Kalihi and all the things that have gone in. It's just awesome. The, the fear that, ka that it's going to become a kaka'ako, yeah. I, I can't tell you the fear I have about that, because where are those people going to go? Yeah. That is the working class of this of this island. Right. And I feel really honored to have been welcomed into it and, and be able to make a difference in that community with something like this, and to be in a position that I can invite you, the listener, anybody who is part of this community, to come and be part of that yeah. family. And it makes that, a huge difference. That's right. And the Habitat Restore is a really cool spot to go to. It I is. mean, it's a great drop by every Saturday. On your way to Costco. Or there you go. From We're Costco. right around the corner. You're right from around Costco. the corner. Yep. Anyway, Kayla, it's been just a pleasure a having pleasure, you on Gordon. the show. Always. It's always, always. You know, I, we usually give autograph solo cups, but you got one already. I do. <laughs> so I can't give you a second one. That's fine. Plus, I just got off an airplane. I didn't have the cups with me. So anyway, I uh, want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, please enjoy your family and friends. Give everybody a hug more than once. And like we say at the end of every show, and I forgot to give you the heads up, how you doing? How you doing?